And we're underway, and Porsche jumps out in front. In fact, it is the GT1 that are out in front, headed toward the right-hander, taking them out under the back part of the course. But the Porsche GT1 continue to lead here at Le Mans. Despite only being manufactured for three years, the Porsche GT1 is one of the most storied cars ever made. And you only need to know a little bit about it to understand why. In its debut race season in 1996, the Porsche GT1 managed to win the very first race it ever competed in and went on to win the GT1 class at Le Mans, coming in second overall, just one lap behind the TWR Porsche prototype. Fourth edition of the Le Mans 24 Hours. The Yurst Porsche, Davy Jones, Manuel Reuter, and Alexander Wurz. The two works Porsches finished second and third, and of course their team, very, very happy. Between 1996 and 1998, the GT1 managed to win 47 races, most notably scoring a 1-2 victory at Le Mans in 1998. Welcome to Le Mans, the world's greatest endurance race, France's round-the-clock classic, which in its 66 running had attracted one of the best entries for very many years. Cars cruised to a 1-2 finish ahead of the Japanese crew Toyota that made it home in ninth. As the clock struck two, the Porsche party was about to begin. Not a bad way to start the company's 50th anniversary celebrations. Good news for Germany and Britain. But despite the impressive racing history, what most people love about the GT1 is that Porsche actually homologated it for the street. Called the GT1 Strassen version, the street legal GT1 received only minimum modifications from the race version. And even 25 years later, it remains the most extreme street legal car Porsche has ever produced. Porsche ceased production of the GT1 in 1998, but in recent years, there have been a growing number of rumors claiming that Porsche will be resurrecting the GT1 as the hypercar successor to the 918 Spyder. But while these are only rumors, many people in the automotive community have been speculating about what a modern day GT1 might look like, including several talented digital artists who have created their own ideas of the car that Porsche might one day build. Automotive designer Greg Thompson has presented a concept for a future GT1 that remains extremely dedicated to the original, but is also a radical step forward. This design is lower and sleeker, but retains the extreme and bulky aerodynamic downforce package, creating a visually contradicting design that looks absolutely incredible. Oh, and real quick, if you're enjoying this video or just like learning about future Porsches, click here to subscribe to this channel. Designer Guillaume Le Rouge presents us with a much more down-to-earth idea of how a future GT1 might look. His design is based on a 911 Turbo S, but the car is fitted with aggressively modified body panels that give a visual nod to the original GT1. Hokassen Design imagines a future GT1 that is heavily influenced by the Porsche Taycan. His creation is very understated and draws on the basic design language of today's EVs but the back of the car features some design details that were inspired by the original GT1.
This exciting interpretation comes to us from industrial designer Jordan Rubinstein Towler. Jordan's design shows an extremely low-slung car that is heavily inspired by the last generation of LMP1 cars. The overall layout is extremely sleek, with free-flowing and uninterrupted lines. And as radical as this design is, the overall presence of the vehicle is surprisingly simple. This design was created by Rain Prisk and features a 911 Turbo with modern endurance racing inspired aerodynamics in the back, 918 styling in the center, and fenders inspired by the original GT1. Sean Bull Design's interpretation of a modern GT1 stays very true to the original, but features an extended wheelbase, a much lower profile, and a significantly wider stance. The aerodynamics have been modernized and simplified, and the roof line has been redesigned to look more like a traditional 911. This design comes from Lars Salzer, who imagines the GT1 as an all-electric vehicle that takes strong styling cues from the Porsche Mission R technology demonstrator. So what are the chances that Porsche might one day bring back the GT1? Over the last few years, Porsche has been an unpredictable company one moment looking to be purely committed to sedans and SUVs, and the next, coming out with over-the-top track cars. What we do know for sure is that Porsche is currently planning to build a new hypercar in the near future. But exactly what that car will be probably remains undecided. Sources from within the company are telling us that it will be a purely internal combustion engine car, in the style of older race cars like the GT1 or 917. But many outsiders believe this is simply wishful thinking, and Porsche's next car will be a purely electric EV that looks more like a car from the future than one from the past. But for now, all we can do is speculate. Thanks for checking out this video, and for more automotive content that you cannot find anywhere else, click here to subscribe. Bob Wallach was sharing with young Germans Jörg Müller and Uwe Altsen heading the McNish machine.